20 years after he was expelled from the Soviet Union, Alexander Solzhenitsyn is on his way home tonight. The Nobel Prize winning author and his family left this morning from the house in the Vermont woods where he has lived and worked in exile. Alexander Solzhenitsyn is perhaps the single most famous and interesting foreign lawyer person to come to Vermont. Solzhenitsyn arrived to Cavendish, Vermont in 1976, having learned a lot about the weather in Vermont, long winters, the cycles of the year and the trees, which uh, in many ways are quite similar to the trees and the forests of Russia. Once he was here, it was the perfect place, in, in his opinion, to raise his young sons with his wife Natalia. And what he primarily wanted and was attracted to Vermont for was the uh, seclusion that he saw. Solzhenitsyn was a person who worked 18 hours a day. He didn't be up 18 hours a day. He actually worked 18 hours a day. Something else that attracted Solzhenitsyn very, very much would be what we call here our town meeting days. Open sessions where residents can come to a central place once or so a year to essentially talk about uh, what they thought was going right in Vermont and what they thought was not going right in Vermont. This impressed Solzhenitsyn, a lover of democracy, very, very much.